Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at desktop application design using Blend for Visual Studio 2022. We will also look at how to transition your project or your design project from Visual Studio into Blend for Visual Studio. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So, Blend for Visual Studio helps you design XAML based Windows and web applications. It provides the same basic XAML design experience as Visual Studio and adds visual designers for advanced tasks such as animation and behaviors. So, both Visual Studio and Blend for Visual Studio both provide visual tools for building engaging user interfaces and rich media experiences with XAML for a variety of application types. But enough of all of the talking, so let's get into real stuff here. First of all, we have to make sure that we've got our desktop tools installed up with our Visual Studio. We can do that by going to Tools and Get Tools and Features. So here, we have to make sure that we have um, this installed, .NET desk, um, desktop development. So this will actually help you build WTF Windows forms and console applications using C Sharp, Visual Basic, F Sharp, and whatnot here. So as you can see here now, I've got this bus checked, which means I've already downloaded and installed this workload. But to do that, yeah, so let's go to the right hand side. So these are the type of tools that will be installed with it, but you've got to make sure that you have the blend for Visual Studio checked. In this case, I've, since I've already downloaded and installed it, we're not, I'm not going to do that, but if you haven't, make sure you download and install it before we get on to the next stage, yeah? So we're going to close the Visual Studio installer. So now we're going to create a new project. So a new, a file new project. So we've got the language selected as C sharp. So we can select, also select the project type as desktop. Yes. So from here, you can select a bunch of desktop application types that you want to use. But for this video, we're going to use um, WPF application. But you can also use the UWP applications and whatnot. Yeah. But for this video set, we used a WPF application. So this is just a project for creating a .NET WPF application. So we select this here and we click Next. So here, this is the usual configure your project details stuff here. So basically your, your project name and the solution location and whatnot. We're not going to look too much into that. So we click, we go ahead and click on Next. So here, you can also select the .NET framework type or the version. We're not going to look too much into it, but we use the latest available. So we click on the create. So as you can see here now, we've got the WPF application created for us now. So it's just a very simple blank project that we can we can get going with it. Yeah. So to be able to also transition um, this WPF application into a blend. Obviously, we've got to make sure that we've got blend installed with the desktop um, application developments, yeah? So basically, the blend for Visual Studio is just a component of Visual Studio, yeah? So once we've got that bit sorted out, yeah, we can right-click one of the XAML file. We can right-click it. So if we do so, as you can see here, we've got this bit, design and blend. So once we click on this bit here, it will actually have this um, project opened in the blend so that we can actually do the design, we can perform the design task inside. So we can both, we can seamlessly transfer both projects from Visual Studio and Blend without any, any, any complications, yeah. So basically, this is the first time I'm actually opening the blend after my last update. So it will have some initial setup 
So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing finishes. So now we have got the Blend for Visual Studio started. Yeah, and obviously we have the we've got the, the, the project details or the project files on the left side here. So let's open the, the design file, the main windows.xaml. So as you can see here now, we have a design panel on the right hand side here. So basically, uh, the design panel, with the design panel, you can use the tools panel or the tools panel in, bl in Blend for Visual Studio to create and modify objects in your application. The tools panel appears on this left hand side mostly. Yeah. So this contains this arrow or, or the or the selection tool. So the select uh, this helps you select objects and parts. Use the direct selection tool to select nested objects and path segments. Yeah. So we're not going to look too much into these tools here, since we've got we haven't got a lot of time for this video, right? But what I'm trying to do, or what we're going to do is we're going to edit this design bit here and let's see how it will be transitioned. So let's go ahead and change the background color on the grid here. Yeah? So on the grid side, let's put the background color. Let's make it red. Yeah, and then let's go ahead and add some, or let's save it here. Let's save the changes. And let's go ahead and open our Visual Studio again. So as you can see here on the Visual Studio, the changes has already reflected here. Okay. So let's go ahead, let's look at it here. So as you can see here, we've got the the background color added. So let's go to choose here, yeah? the toolbox here. Yeah? And let's add a button here. So the content on the, on the button, let's put login. And let's open it a bit. So let's save it here. So basically right now we are on the Visual Studio. Let's save it on the Visual Studio and go back to the blend. So as you can see here now, we've also got uh, the changes that we made on Visual Studio updated on the, on the blend as well. So basically you can work with both the Visual Studio and the blend for Visual Studio seamlessly. So whatever, you, whatever changes you make on that, one side it will be reflected on the other side yeah so i don't really have time a lot of time for this video but what i'm going to do on my next video is we're going to look into much further this is just to show you how you can do both the design in both um uh, blend for visual studio and visual studio so basically if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i will have a continuation of this video if you are interested in it so wherever you are, have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, well, peace.